Pulp Fiction magazine covers occupy a racy space in art history. The images were shocking and sensational, and uh, they were meant to catch your eye and then, of course, sell the magazine. The artist certainly caught the eyes of one local couple. Dan Murphy, the guitarist of Soul Asylum, and his wife Sarah have amassed a huge collection of original Pulp Fiction cover art. And May Roscoe takes us to the hard-boiled art exhibit, which is definitely not for the timid. This is a Pulp Fiction magazine from 1940, and the reason it got the name Pulp was because it was printed on cheap, pulpy paper. This is the magazine cover. This is the original magazine cover art. Much more valuable, much more rare, Sarah Murphy, why is that? Only about 1% of all the art that was ever created for these magazines still exists. Partially, that's just because these artists were working on these really fast timelines. So half the time, they would take the canvas that they created, flip it over, and create their next, their next artwork. While people who were creating magazine covers for high and glossy magazines like the Saturday Evening Post or Red Book might be getting anywhere up to $1,500, if you created this, you would be paid $50 to $100 on a good day. They were working on incredibly tight timelines, and nobody really gave the art much credit, even though today, to modernize, we see that it's some of the most inventive, some of the most technically accomplished art that was being created in the Depression. And some of the original artwork that we see here in the gallery is going for how much? Yeah, pulp art can go up to seventy or eighty thousand dollars. A lot of it is really hotly collected, especially of this variety, which is considered the woman in peril or the menace pulp. This is really very desirable to collectors these days. And it, that's because it really attracted a lot of attention. It was a, a real subject of censorship. A lot of these magazines, they were created pretty much to be sold on the attraction of their cover. So the sex sells, sex put, sells. put something sexy on a magazine, you put it on the newsstand, oh, I don't know, I think we'll buy this one. Exactly, and you can see there's a lot of themes that come up. There's the voluptuous, scantily clad woman in peril. But there's also science fiction and, and mystery. This is yeah. the shadow, as in only the shadow knows Yes, as the shadow knows. It was originally voiced by Orson Welles. It was originally a radio show that was created to promote pulp magazines. Twelve original pulp art paintings will be on display here at Red Wing Framing and Fine Art Printing through December 5th. Back to you. Yeah, that is interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah.